Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this impeller design in Swordworks. So before I start this video, make sure that you subscribe my channel and check out my free courses, link in description. Okay, now without wasting any time, let's start. So first click on the front plane, click on sketch. Now first create the sketch as I'm showing. Escape after that. Escape. Now let's give the dimension as per our requirement. So it is a very small impeller, not a big one. So you can change as per your requirement, okay? So it is 13.5 divided by 2. 67 divided by 2 and this one is 31 this one is 27 and zoom it and this one is 1 now after that we are going to use spline tool ok click on spline and draw the point as I am showing after uh, reaching here, press escape. Now select the spline tool and move these handles. The advantage of this is that we can adjust the curve as per our requirements. That is the reason I am using spline, not the curve. Because in curve you have a something called constant radius and I don't want constant radius. I want something more flexible thing. So that is the reason I am using spline. You can increase the decrease as per your requirement. After that, we will go to here and click on revolve post space click on here click ok now we will create some planes uh, before moving forward so first select this click on reference plane plane and enter the value of 22.5 click on flip offset click ok uh, select this plane press F2 press T uh, top plane t basically means top plane okay now again go to the reference plane click on plane and select the front plane and we are going to enter the value of 25 mm click ok and select this press f2 press f <coughs> remember f means front nothing else okay don't take uh, wrong words and after that select here Plane, select this and enter the value of 0.5. Clip offset, click OK. Now we have three planes. Now, before I move forward, what you need to do is select the front plane, click on sketch. Now, click on here, center line, draw the center line as I'm showing. Press escape. Now, draw one more line. This after that make sure it is vertical ok after that go here and click on reward surface if you are not able to see these surfaces uh, here or here what you can do is simply go on, on here right click on it and go to the tabs ok you can see different kind of things so if i click on surfaces you can see my surface tab is here now so click on reward surface and click ok after that right click on it and click on hide because i don't want to see it okay and what we are going to do is uh, select this f that is front plane click on sketch now we are going to create the sketch uh, that i'm going to show now go to the spline tool and draw the sketch as i'm showing Let's escape. Now let's give them some dimensions. So select this point and it is 3.8. Select this point and this it is 0.44. And Point 6.2 6 
and click on smart dimension to exit it now let's uh, click on here and exit the smart dimension okay so select this okay i don't know why it's my smart dimension to it automatically so select this curve and move this handlebar to here you can give the curveness as per your requirement okay so choose the value as per your uh, uh, till you till you are satisfied now exit the sketch mode now what you are going to do is select this sketch and go to the curves click on project curve select this project curve and go here and click on this surface uh, okay what is not showing so what we are going to do okay uh, the column is not showing because the sketch is below it so move it upward move it downward here so here's the thing that to use some features you need to make sure that your base on a correct orientation so now we can use it so select this click on here and project curve and still not able to show and go to here project curve like this and this face and click on uncheck the reverse uh, it, it must be here click ok after that right click on it and click on hide i'm oh, sorry click on show just hide this curve surface ok so we got our sketch here bp now let's move to the next part basically i have to create uh, more sketches so what i'm going to do is select the front plane click on sketch now i'm going to create simple curve here so go to the spline tool make sure it is here starts here and you can make it as per your requirement on the sausage you copy mine escape <coughs> so we got this thing uh, press control 8 and give it a dimension of 0.5 oh, sorry or not 0.5 select this face uh, just 5 mm and exit the sketch mode after that uh, remember the uh, this plane plane 3 right click on it click on sketch okay so we are going to create a curve here so click on curve select this point and this and give it a radius as per requirement in my case i'm giving it a 40 mm and make sure that the distance from here to here is 5 mm. Uh, okay, it's already 5, so I don't need to worry about it. And press Ctrl 8. Let's click on here and here and give the value of 25 mm. Exit the sketch mode. Now select this plane that is T, that is top plane. And I'm going to draw a line, simple line. Press escape and exit the sketch mode. <coughs> now there is a tool called loft, so we are going to use it. So select the loft tool and I am going to select this uh, sketch to up to here. Now, next, uh, you, here you can see it is basically closed. So clear selection, select this and this one. Again, it is closed, so just move this to here. Okay now it is still not look quite good so go to the simple curves select this curve uh, still not look good now just select this curve now it makes sense and click ok so this is how to flex now what you do is select this curve and select the thicken with thicken ok and enter the value as per requirement in my case it is 0.3 and make sure that you select the mid one it means that the thickness will be due on both sides equally 0 0.5, 0 0.15, 0 0.15 ok and click ok 
so this is the surface that we got now it is quite sharp here and nobody likes sharp edges i guess so let's make it smooth uh, just to know uh, the disadvantage of sharp edges is that you will get rust problem very badly so don't nobody use it so enter the value of 0.2 uh, similarly here 0.2 Select this face, this, select this one, and click OK. <laughs> so, this is the one we have created. Now, go to here, circular pattern, select the circular edge, uh, click on instance, uh, instance spacing, enter the value of 2.5, and instead of components 8, enter the value of 2. Click OK. Uh, it is uh, okay. We need more features. Click done. Click OK. Still not picking up. So and check this. Uh, select this. Click OK. Now we have this, but I need to make it smaller one. So what I can do? Select the front plane. Click on sketch. So draw the sketch I'm showing. Seventeen. Twenty-five. Um, so move it data forward. Make sure that it is not interfering with it. Okay. Now I want to cut this plate. So what I can do? Go to the features. Click on extrude cut. So I am going to use some you know little high thing. So go here. Enter the value of fifty and instead of that click on a full surface now some people are wondering what the hell i'm doing uh, try using uh, try to cut this thing by using your standard method you will realize why i'm doing all this for those who are not understanding what the hell is going on here i recommend please check out my free course link in description of password burst i have deeply explained what are these things and how they are work okay it is a free course so you will not lose anything if you want to extend your skills, there is a paid course as well uh, for motion analysis. So click OK. So we got something like this. Uh, again, it is sharp thing and I don't like it. So click on here and click OK. Now we have something. Now go here, click on circular pattern, select this and select this. Uh, click on equal spacing, select invalid, just like this. Uh, click select the bodies, <coughs> enter the value 8, click OK. So we got something like this, uh, still looks OK, but not that great. So click on front plane, click on sketch. Now we are going to create some curves, and after that, we are done, I guess. So <coughs> here and here as well and give the radius as per your requirement before I do something like that it is center here because I'm going to use revolt cut now press escape uh, select this line make it vertical and let's give it some radius let's say it is 20 mm and press es escape select this point and this point to make it vertical and go to the features click on revolve cut oh it is asking for axis to cut it click here click ok and we got something like this now select this face click on sketch now let's make a smaller hole here make the hole as per your requirement so let's just say it is 5 mm click on here click on extrude cut click on uh, through all click ok and this is what i got uh, just click on this eye icon 
and every unwanted thing will be moved now so this is how it looks like at the end okay looks quite good to me and you can also do the flow simulation for those who want to know how to do flow simulation on an impeller check out my uh, a tutorial on flow simulation link in description so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask question thanks for watching and have a great day namaste